Today was a big day for HBO, Warner Brothers, and Discovery, as there was a rebranding special edition event for close party invites, bloggers, people that aren't me. But I got information from the internet like you can too, or hopefully you're just getting it from me right now. That information is HBO Max is going to be no more very shortly. That app you have on your phone, your tablet, your computer, your big screen TV is going to look a little different. The purple gradient hues are going to be gone, replaced by a blue hue. And no more HBO Max. Instead, you're going to love this. The new name for HBO Max is, drum roll please, Max. It's brilliant. Let's talk about it. Here is the breakdown. Discovery Plus, which is a separate streaming service for, I believe, $4.99. You can watch giraffes and shit. That's still going to be a thing. But now they're married to HBO, Time Warner, whatever this whole thing is. Here's the bottom line. There's like 10 companies that own everything else. Um, and so one of the big companies has bought some of the smaller ones. So this Max thing is going to have both HBO and Discovery content on there. I don't know why someone would then pay for Discovery Plus separately. I, I mean, I guess it's cheaper. It's the cheaper alternative, but they also have more alternatives, which I have. I wrote them down. Well, I didn't write them down. I, I'm actually linking to an article, uh, The Verge. And this article was written by Emma Roth. So thank you, Emma, for doing the legwork for me. I'm just going to basically read off of this document and you can take what you want from it. The time has come. HBO Max and Discovery Plus are merging to create a combined streaming service called Max. During an event Wednesday, Warner Brothers Discovery announced the new series will launch on May 23rd and costs up to $19.99 per month with two cheaper tier prices at $15.99 and $9.99. There's going to be ads. There's going to be ads. Max is the one to watch, CEO David Zaslav said. It's the one to watch because it's the place every member of the household can go see exactly what they want at any given time. Zaslav has a weird voice. It's the voice I've come up with. Uh, and yeah, he's probably right. Something for the whole family. You got your little kid Tanner on the couch. He's streaming Blue's Clues on his tablet. Meanwhile, dad's got the porn on the big screen. It's a great family dynamic that they've set up over there at Max. Let's keep going. The $19.99 per month ad free. There it is. Ultimate tier, it's ultimate, comes with 4K HDR Dolby Atmos for some content, for some content, 100 offline downloads. I don't know what that means. There's 100 things to download, or that means you get a, a limit or a maximum of 100 offline downloads. That's probably what they mean. And four concurrent streams. So grandma's in the other room watching Golden Girls. Dad's jerking his gherkin to some showgirls. Little Tanners now moved on to Bubble Guppies, and Mom's in the kitchen cooking up a storm watching Gilmore Girls. That's a Netflix exclusive. I can't go that route. I don't actually know if anything I listed off is on HBO. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. Four people simultaneously living their own lives together. That's really what it's all about at the end of the day. Being together, but eh, separate. Okay, what else? Meanwhile... The cheapest ad-supported plan offers HD quality and two concurrent streams. Okay, so we have a four... A f the, the ultimate version essentially gives you four streams. The other two offerings give you two streams per household. With the lowest tier having ads. Oof. Ugh, that's gross. That's gross. While the regular HBO Max app will go away completely and automatically update to Max on May 23rd... Discovery Plus will remain as a standalone option that retains that same $4.99 per month price with ads or $6.99 per month without. So I was pretty close on my assertions earlier. Warner Brothers Discovery will automatically migrate like a bird. This is, this is what they do. HBO Max users, their profiles, watch histories, and billing information over to the new series. So sorry, Dad, if you thought you could scrub Showgirls from your watch list, it's coming with you. 
This move has been long in the works. Long enough that you'd think Warner Brothers Discovery would come up with a better name than just Max. Oh, 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 that was not part of the press release. That was Emma Roth throwing a little of her own little sauce in there. I like it. I like it. You know what I don't like? This merger, this deal. Actually, I shouldn't say that. To be honest, I don't even know what I'm paying for this stupid HBO Max streaming service right now. Sadly, it's one of the better offerings available. Disney Plus is kind of a nightmare. It has garbage on it. Uh, unless you have kids. If you have kids, then sure. Uh, bon appetit. But for a, a, a sad adult man, it just it doesn't make a lot of sense at this point. Mandalorian's turned to garbage. Most of the Disney Plus exclusive movies and shows are absolute rubbish. So Disney Plus, not a lot there. Uh, Peacock, that app is a nightmare. Barely runs. The search functionality is non-existent. I have a PS5. I actually have two. Yeah. I'm a big deal. I'm a big deal! Is what I tell myself in the mirror. Peacock search functionality stopped working, and now the app altogether doesn't work. It just doesn't work on PS5. So thanks to the power of the PlayStation, you can't check anything out in the cock. Peacock isn't working. Universal? I mean, come on. <laughs> Forget about it. Netflix is decent too, but uh, I, I don't know. HBO Max was always a solid one when it loaded. And now it's got a lot of solid new shows, and we're going to be talking about those too, because not only was there a big rebrand thing going on, Along with that event came a whole slew of new TV shows. We're going to talk about that coming up. 